Hello and welcome to another filament review video. And this time I am testing Isan PLA filaments from mechanical strength aspect. Uh, after the 60 brand comparison video, I was contacted by Isan if I want to test their filaments and resins. Well, I said yes. I already has, have the regular PLA and PLA plus, so they can send me I know some PETG, ABS, uh, ASA, nylon so I can compare them, but uh, they told me that for first step uh, they will send me the PLAST, which is very interesting material, very uh, less brittle and very taut material. So uh, in this test I will compare these uh, three fil filaments and uh, also I got two types of the resin from them, but uh, I will test them uh, in one of my future videos. Unfortunately I forget that uh, actually I don't have regular PLA from uh, Isan, only E-Silk PLA. So I will test with what I have, so these three filaments will be tested in this video. Let's take a closer look. So first PLA in this test will be in yellow color and it is E-Silk PLA. Recommended printing temperature is between 190 and 220 degrees Celsius. And I always like to uh, print these uh, closer to the higher limit. So I will print everything test specimens on 215 degrees Celsius. Interesting, the recommended bed temperature is 50 degrees Celsius. Well, I usually use 60, so uh, that's how I print it. And, and uh, yes, it is in silk color, but from mechanical aspect, it doesn't matter to me, but uh, you will get very nice shiny objects. The next filament in this test will be the PLA Plus. This is also mine filament. As you can see, it will be in gray color, this is PLA plus. There is not a significant standard what the plus means on different brands. And I can see a recommended printing temperature is between 205 and 225 degrees Celsius. So here I will print everything on 220 degrees Celsius. And here the recommended printing temperature, bed temperature is between 60 and 80 degrees Celsius. So I have to raise the temperature of the bed. And the third filament in this test will be EPLA ST. Recommended printed temperature is between 210 and 230 degrees Celsius. An interesting recommended bed temperature is only 45 degrees Celsius. So this I will print on 225 degrees Celsius temperature. And it will be in white color. And only this filament is sent to me by Isan. Uh, but this is not sponsored video, I'm not paid to do this video. Uh, these are my filaments and I will just do the testing and show you the results. And this is the list of experiments I will do with these filaments. And I'm trying to build my own standards so the results are comparable with those in uh, from other videos. Uh, for example, with uh, Isan Resin which will be published uh, soon. I started with E-Silk PLA and these are my test specimens for Lay adhesion and tensile strength. Here you can see my printing uh, parameters. And these are my test specimens for shear, twist, bending and impact tests. This is e PLA Plus. And here you can see my test specimens for uh, layer adhesion and tensile test. And these are my uh, settings, 220 degrees Celsius printing temperature and 75 degree the bed temperature. And these are PLA plus test specimens for impact, bending, shear and uh, torque tests. This is PLA ST. And here you can see my printing settings. Uh, I had a one failed print uh, because I set the bed temperature to recommend it 45 degrees Celsius, but uh, for some reason it deattached from the printing surface. So I replace it. I'm using now smooth uh, PI sheet and I raise the temperature to 60 degrees Celsius. I hope it will come out easily. I will see in 10 minutes. Let's check the bed adhesion. Well, it's not too strong. So definitely I don't recommend those 45 degrees Celsius. Of course, uh, printing surface may be different, but uh, PI sheet should uh, have a good adhesion. So 
Uh, I don't recommend uh, to use it on 45 degrees Celsius as recommended on the spool. And since I raised the bed temperature to 60 degrees Celsius, I didn't have any problems with bed attention. Even with these where they start with very small uh, con contact su surface, uh, these are for torque tests and even they were printed okay, well at least so far, but I think they will be finished correctly. Let's check the bed adhesion. Mm, not bad, but it could be better. These test specimens are printed in horizontal position and again I'm starting with uh, silk PLA. Here I will use a one ton chain hoist and 500 kg crane scale and my test specimens will be attached here at the bottom. And I noticed that PLAST broke on a smaller load, but it doesn't break suddenly. Even at this moment where I don't see the numbers, I can tell that uh, the PLAST was the weakest in this test. But I was uh, expecting this because according to the datasheet it has the weakest uh, tensile strength. Uh, it will perform much better on the impact test. And now let's see those numbers. These test specimens are for layer attention test and these, they are printed in vertical position. All I have to do is to cut these small supports. I have them because uh, these are my universal test specimens and I use them with different materials, even with those with the weaker uh, bed adhesion. And I am starting with uh, silk PLA. With layer adhesion test, uh, I don't expect to be uh, load, so I will just pull it with my hand because in that case I can feel better the weight. Here I was very impressed with PLA plus layer adhesion. Uh, here you can see all the results in this uh, graph, but don't forget the layer adhesion depends a lot from the printing temperature. These test specimens are printed in horizontal position and have a diameter of uh, 5 mm. So you have here the double the cross section area for this shear stress. And these are test specimens after shear stress, and as you can see they are uh, shared on those two cross section areas. And I will record the maximum load before it was shared. So this is my test setup for bending test. I will measure the deformation with this dial indicator. Uh, it is a three point bending test uh, based on ISO 178, not perfectly the same but similar. So I will measure the deformation and I will measure the uh, weight the load and I record everything with two cameras and I'll try to synchronize them and to measure the connection between these two I record the load at 2 millimeter deformation and I will also uh, register the maximum load
<laughs> what is very interesting that they didn't broke so usually PLA is very brittle material and uh, in most cases they just broke uh, sp split into two pieces but as you, as you can see none of these are broken completely in this twist or torque test uh, these, these are my test specimens and this side goes into 10 mm wrench and the other side will go to the vise and distance between these two points is 30 millimeters and I will twist it, I will follow the deformation with this upper camera and I will measure the torque with this torque meter. The torque meter records the peak of one movement. One point seven one point eight one point nine and it broke one point two. No, 1.2 was not peak, it broke. Let's repeat the test quickly. 1 1.6, 1.8, 1.8, 1.8, but it broke. 1.3, 1.4. So the ECL PLA made uh, one full rotation before the head broke in both cases. The PLA plus made maybe 90 degree before when the head broke, and uh, PLA strong. Well, this one made maybe 90 degree. This one a little bit less than 180 degrees, and then the head broke off. But let's see the numbers. This is my test equipment. It is based on uh, Isoto Sharp Impact Test, and I have here half kilogram hammer, and uh, it will swing to the other side. And where there is no specimen, that will be the zero position. And then I will place this uh, test specimen here, and it will break it and swing to the lower position. And from difference in height, uh, I can calculate how much energy is used to break this uh, piece of plastic. I try to follow the ISO 180 standard. It's not completely equal, but uh, it is based on that uh, standard. The zero position. Is silk PLA, PLA plus, PLA ST. Wow. Okay. This is the scale, and this is the zero position of the hammer, and this is the position after breaking the silk PLA. This is the position of the hammer after breaking PLA plus. And this is the position after breaking the PLA ST. I have to extend here the scale so I can measure it. And everything is measured from the red line from zero position. And uh, here you can see the equation how I calculated the energy use for breaking the test specimen. In this test, I want to record uh, the temperature when the test specimen makes the first movement. And uh, I place here M10 nut just uh, as a small load. And these test specimens are printed with uh, two walls and 30% infill. I noticed there is small delay with this thermometer, but, but uh, at uh, this uh, heating speed, maybe uh, one or two degree of Celsius max. They are equally soft, so no big surprises here. They all started with deformation at approximately 50 degrees Celsius, which is the usual uh, heat deflection temperature for the PLA. And the final conclusions. Uh, well, the impact test was actually the last one. And uh, just before that, I was thinking what to tell uh, in this as the last words. And uh, I want to say that the PLAST didn't impress me much but uh, that was uh, fantastic in that last uh, impact test. I think it was the most taut material I tested so far. 
and uh, also you can notice that uh, it didn't break suddenly uh, pay attention on, on tensile strength uh, test that it, first it deforms and then it breaks of course uh, on uh, it can handle smaller loads and the stress uh, but each of these filaments have their own application. My favorite is actually the PLA Plus because of that layer, uh, stronger layer adhesion. But uh, if you want a nice shiny object, then you can use uh, silk PLA, for example. Unfortunately, I, I uh, didn't test a regular PLA. And also I found uh, on the eSun uh, another PLA, which unfortunately I didn't test. And there's the PLA Lightweight. Uh, it can change the density in function of the temperature. Uh, that would be very interesting. Unfortunately, it's not included in this test. I hope I will get opportunity to test uh, even different, more technical materials like I don't know, uh, ASA nylon, polycarbonate, and similar from from their repertoire, from Isan. And of course, uh, in a week or two, there will be the video where I am testing uh, these two resins from the Isan. And uh, I will use the same test specimens, so these are these results will be comparable with, with each other. And also, uh, you can see here all the results on one place from this video. And also, they will be uploaded on my website, so you can download them. And that's maybe the fastest way to compare them with the, those from the other videos. I hope you find this video useful. Thank you for watching, and happy printing!